Welcome back to Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes. This is Grand Arena, final matchup of first week of season 16. My opponent last time did about what I was expecting. He actually attacked a little bit more than I was thinking. From his Grand Arena history, it looked like he just attempts a couple battles each Grand Arena. He put in several more attempts than I thought he would, but this is how he did. Two attacks against Venturous, two attacks against Newton stopped, one against Darth Revan stopped. Again, he put most of his strong teams on defense, so I don't know what he had left really for attack. Top territory here, he handled these two soft teams but had trouble against this Resistance Heroes team and then trouble against Mon Mothma. Today we are going up against a, an opponent who has SLKR but doesn't have great mods and we'll break this down. So he takes the game mode decently seriously with a lifetime banner score which is around 60k less than mine, 60-70k less than mine. And then with the summary of the roster, he's got a good amount of Zeta, so he has a decently old account. I've got a million GP on him, but I have an advantage in terms of gear 12 and of course gear 11 characters. The mods is where the big difference happens. He's got some slow mods, except he does have a lot of 25 plus speed mods, which just tells me he's been slicing up a lot more six dot mods than uh, not more six dot mods, but more tiers of those six dot mods. He's probably covering a lot more of those 25 plus speed mods by doing that. And when we look at the specific characters, he does have gas. He's got Darth Revan. He's got these guys, but he's from his grand arena history, he tends to save these guys for offense. So I'm actually expecting a fairly soft defense. Now, here's the stats of these other key characters. He's beating me on mods on these specific characters, but I'm assuming that the depth of my roster has faster speeds in general. We look at the ships. He's got the ships he needs, but he's going to split them up between offense and defense, and I put both Malevolence and Negotiator on defense. So we'll see how Fleet goes. It might take me a couple attempts to get through it. When we hop back in here. So this is my opponent. Before we jump in, we will... Let me just show you what his relics look like. And we have a pretty decent roster we're going up against. We need to definitely up the rate at which I am relicking those Jedi Master Luke requirements because we are now at a stage where we are regularly seeing Galactic Legends and I don't have the best options for countering them. All right, let's break down his defense. We'll do my defense first. So I changed it up a little bit. I made the defense a little bit stronger, but not significantly stronger. I Because I'm expecting him to full clear anyway. I just need to make sure I'm full clearing with better banners. So we got Mon Mothma, Telzin. We got a Resistance Hero team and a Hux lead First Order team. I'm not expecting all of them to do too much. I'm hoping my fleet gives him more problems. And I want this front territory down at the bottom to force him into sacrificing some teams, hopefully. So we got Darth Revan, Newt, and Ventress. In the back wall, we added CLS back here, and then Padme and Grievous are usually there. Old Ben's here because I wanted to I didn't want to put too much on defense. On his defense, we have Grievous, that's soft, without the relics on him. We have a Phasma, we have 
Ventures. Like you see how shallow his roster starts getting pretty quickly outside of the relics for SOKR. And on the bottom territory, we are looking at Hux, Pago, and Telzin. We're going to get through this bottom territory quickly. What I think I'm going to do down here, I think I did this in the last 3v3 as we were doing Wampa. We were running this against a bunch of new teams. Wampa, B2, and Watt. So B2 should be taking any of the hits coming from Droidico, which is going to allow Wampa to clean it up for me. And then if I lose B2, I can revive him. So give him the protection tech and have him tank. We will give the uh, weapons mod to Wampa. I need to get the... Yeah, this is gonna be soft. And now we can dispel on Droidica and take Droidica out. can get some. Don't die. I was hoping to heal, but we got through that a little bit quicker. Now the way that I'm thinking about this, I'm either going to do a Django solo or I'm going to do troopers. And I think the troopers I should be doing. I just don't like doing this as much 3v3. But we can get a quick kill with spirit. Problem is I've lost complete faith in Veers since I've been relying on Gideon so much. I think this will be fine. We can use Django up against the other team because they've got Nest. Oh no. No, 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 no. Come on, we need that train. Give me the RNG. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I was afraid of. And I shouldn't have risked it. Yeah, I shouldn't have risked that.
Maybe I shouldn't have brought Django in here by himself. A little scary. It's what we should have done the first time. I think it would be better to live stream where I can have people talk me out of risking dumb things that I suspect weren't going to work anyway. and I want fives. I think this is what we did last round. Something that's nice and strong, but not too strong. But when we went up against Hux last time, we did not have to deal with Sith Trooper. We had a definitely much easier first order team we were up against. Which let us focus on Hux first. But this time we gotta take out Sith Trooper first. Good. We've got a, an Annihilate coming in a second. We'll focus on Officer because the next time this comes around we'll take out Hux. Protection back on Rex, and that should be it. No. Maybe we can give. Slow this down. No, we're not going to get it. That's as good as we get. Django, Newt, Bosk, Geos. Newt's probably the toughest team here. That means we got plenty of flexibility. This is what I was thinking. I wasn't too worried about the back wall, but if we got through this bottom territory, it would open up a lot of options up front here. I think what we want, we'll do gas and Ahsoka.
Didn't click fast enough. This one will take. That is really way too much for this team. No, we'll take Vader up against the Geos. Because that's going to be better banners than Treo. Oh, I didn't need troopers to take out stuff. I was kind of really regretting that waste of those troopers. Really just losing death troopers, what I care about. I just want to skip ahead and hit Grievous. Oh, we should do B2. Through the protection, we have another marked in a second. This Grievous is not a danger to us. All right, here's our marked. Finish this up. How is this taking me so long? We're going to be through B1 before we get through B2 at this rate. There we go. Let's get some turn meter on Yoda. I don't think we're going to get any protection back. Yeah, no chance. This is over. Now, can we use something lighter I 
Do I just do Jedi Knight Luke and be safe? Nobody else is really a problem. There's only really like speed down on that team. There's not a ton of damage. We're bringing him solo. Yes, Fabsma. Ventress. We'll figure something out over there. this it's a relic zero ray I've got like three or four more characters to relic for Jedi Master Luke so I'm just trying to keep some of those characters lower until we're a little bit closer and I can raise them all up in relics at once But it doesn't seem like Ray does enough damage at Relic Zero. I might be losing BB-8. Don't die on me, BB-8. But this is why we gotta do these experiments. I needed to know if I could do it like this or not. It is a gear 11 BB-8 though. Which has always been a little bit of a gamble. Are you gonna die? Oh my god. I don't know why I talk about things like this, like knowing this match is likely gonna come down to banners, and then I do things to just submarine my banners. Gear 12 BB-8, a Relic 1 JTR, that would have been much cleaner. Okay, this Newt team is the toughest thing we got left. We don't... Who's my best Rebel leader at this point? And what was this Newt team? Newt Duke IG-100. Let's just 
do that. No, we're not paying any more taxes. It's just, we're gonna get too many turns. This is, it's never gonna make any sense. We'll just live with it. fun no this is I need, this is what I mean this is this is going to be a close match I can't be doing fun things we just need to win this cleanly it's like this this internal struggle I deal with of just wanting to do something fun Sure wish I had Death Trooper right now. Can I get any use out of you? Your damage is so much lower right now. Take him out. Nice. I think we need one more for that feat. Need to kill. All right. What? I need one more still. I guess seven days for that, never mind. We're not gonna worry about that, we're good. You do the best scar? Do Mando. I 
let's try bow. We're not gonna do what we did last time because they're not gonna survive against that. Or, or even if they survive and have enough defense, they're not gonna have the damage. This is going to be less fun, but have a better chance. Okay, she's got damage immunity. She's got the Beskar. Let's throw a taunt up. No more damage immunity though. We can start getting some more stacks of this stuff. Prep for the whistling birds. Of course I get stunned. Get a third stack. Throw the best scar on Mando. Bo Katan should already be dead. This better do some serious damage, Pescar uh, Mando. This is not going to go well. Well, you know what? You taunt. Let's give you some damage immunity. I can't give you damage immunity? Alright. This is a dumb team. I shouldn't have done this. I don't think there's a wind condition here. I think I need to get lucky on the timing of the whistling birds attack to come right after nest goes. Let's just auto this. What? That was the RNG scenario I wanted. How many stacks of the birds did we have? Okay. All right. Never doing that again. The Mandos are not great against nest. The only reason I did that was because it was a gear 11 nest and I was semi-confident a scenario like that would happen with gear 12 nest. I wouldn't have tried that. 
All right, we got the finalizer. He is going after us, or he does have SLKR, so this is going to be a good finalizer. And he has the malevolence. We're going to take the rebels here. I'm assuming we can get through the finalizer with enough attempts. I think it, by the time of that battle, I think we want Wedge. Yeah, we can get through the finalizer with enough attempts. It's not really the same case with the malevolence. If we don't get certain ships out. Start working on the hyena. I think it was a lower star hyena that anyway. Come on. Perfect. All right, how do I want to do this? Usually I bring in Cassian, but this time we're, st we're just going to have to focus down on Sunfag. We'll do Phantom. Throw the target locks. Perfect. Wish we didn't lose the Y wing. We're fine. This is the only scenario I would ever do the AOE. Let's bring out Biggs. You know what? I just realized I almost didn't bring in Biggs into this battle. Because I was used to Biggs always being in one slot, but now because I'm working on Jedi Master Luke, Wedge has shifted in the lineup and I almost didn't realize. Okay. We're going to go Empire first, do as much damage as we can, because they have the most gear. We at least have like a relic Vader. And the finalizer is not as good on defense, but there's so many relics on these pilots that they're going to be dangerous regardless. Do not. Who has the lowest tenacity here? All right, let's do the basic, try and get the target lock. Come on. No. Kind of needed that. Really should go after Kylo, but I want an advantage. And I think we can get the TIE fighter out sooner. I don't know if it makes sense to bring in the shuttle anymore. We're still doing it. you up if 
finally get a target lock. Alright, I'm leaving that target lock. I don't want to take you out anymore. You know what? I think I want the gauntlet. Or do I want... Let's do this. It'd be better if Vader was still around. Perfect. All right, I think we got a win here, but this is not what I was hoping for. Because I think next turn we get the Chimera's ultimate. Yeah, we'll take out the command shuttle. <clears throat> we'll heal up my TIE fighter. Should have brought out the gauntlet there, but I wasn't thinking. All right. I think that's a win. I don't know, because we we did the one, one or two dumb things. How many dumb things did we do? We brought in troopers against a team I shouldn't have, and I knew I shouldn't have, instead of just bringing in Django like I thought. All these other ones were one shots, right? There were a couple low banner wins. But I think only one. Yeah. That, we should have one shot everything, but... I risked something I shouldn't have. I think he'll slip up somewhere. He doesn't have the depth I do. But he has kept most everything for offense. I'm really just hoping it comes down to ships. But he'll have the negotiator, he'll have Akbar, so he has what he needs to clean this. Alright, we are going to pause for a moment and set up for the next match on the new account. Okay, we're jumping in with the new account. We're moving at a far better clip this video. Young Blasco, here is how this match up went. We're still undefeated on this new account, but it's two battles. So we'll see if we keep this up. We've at least got the Zeta. He had some trouble here where he beat the Geos. And on the back wall. Oh, did he just not even attempt? <laughs> Okay, two attempts against the Night Sisters, which I'm really impressed that they're doing the work that they're doing because I barely developed Telzin. I threw her in uh, to be the lead because the rest of the sisters aren't any good, but really the only development here is on Ventress and Daka. There's some gear on Telzin, but nothing beyond that. Now, before we jump into this next matchup, I do want to talk about one thing. I hear a lot of players talking about divisions and whether or not they should move up in divisions. And I didn't really have a strong opinion on it. I, I didn't think they really mattered. The biggest difference I'm finding, though, is on these promotions. The rewards you get at lower divisions are awful. They're complete crap. It is worth moving up in divisions to get better 
promotion rewards. Like I'd like to accelerate that process because being maybe around division three and stuff, it doesn't matter. But at Div division nine, like that stuff is so bad. All right. So this match, same defense we've been running this entire time. Geos, Talzin, Bastila, and Newt in the back wall. We got Phoenix here. Let's take a look at how strong they look. Phoenix with Kanan or Kanan. He's the one I think is more annoying because he'll call or he he creates the counters. And now here we have Boba Fett. Pretty weak Boba Fett. So we'll clear up this back to territory. We'll see where I need to use my strong team. Now up against Boba Fett. Let me look at them again. All right, we got fives. They are not strong. I'm gonna use my own bounty hunters. What have I been using up against Night Sisters? Have I been using Bounty Hunters? No, we're saving good stuff for the against for those Phoenix. This is this is a pretty soft team. They're much better now. I've been working on them, uh, especially Bosk for his ship. But we still have plenty of strong teams for the back wall and for those Phoenix characters. I think this will be plenty to take out this team. I think Boba Fett's the bigger risk. I've really developed Django quickly because I want those double taps on the debuff. I want to be able to throw that Omega on. I don't think we have enough to take out that. Take him out yet. That was a little scary. We almost just lost Django. Completely, I mean. All right, let's do this ability. That was nothing. All right, we really need to take him out. Let's attempt. Oh my God, you dodged? All right, that's a problem. Let's just focus on fives. Get a two on one. I needed I need that execute. Let's do a heal. Perfect. This is what I want. Prevent the revive. Ahsoka and Kylo. Ahsoka, we don't need to worry about. Uh, I think Ahsoka is a lead that works with Night Sisters, right? Yeah, it's useless. Okay. I think we're going to do Phoenix against Kylo, and we're going to use my Empire up against his Phoenix. And I just realized we don't have any music. I'm 
I'm thinking about saving Piet and doing like a Piet Storm range against somebody on that back wall. Which means... I have no other Sith, right? Except for Dooku who's on defense. Yeah. Oh, I get... I've got Thrawn. We'll use Thrawn. Let's forget about Thrawn because he's not as developed. So he's further down on that list. We'll throw an ability block on Kanan so he can't taunt. Alright, we got some good stuns. Can I stun you? Okay, no, that needs like an Omega, right? I don't think this is enough. Let's risk it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Take him out before Hera goes. I should have shown you the mods. But I suspect these mods are no good. We can check on the back wall characters. I suspect this is... No, he has... He's got Basla for his arena team. I forgot to show that. Is that enough? Perfect. Now we'll do Phoenix here, we'll do Troopers against the other one. You can just see how unreliable these characters are at lower levels. Like, I'm not getting the double taps. I'm not getting assists. I'm not getting counters. Not that these guys are supposed to be countering, but... But after, like, knowing how these teams are supposed to perform, it's... A different experience starting a new account and just feeling the frustration of when a character just doesn't like double attack when you want them to. Or like in Thrawn's case, stun when you're expecting him to stun. Or hoping he'll stun. All right, we're gonna do troopers here. I think without a leadership. I really like Piet with Stormtrooper because Stormtrooper is very tanky. It's also super easy to gear up. I think we'll take out DACA first. Get some defense up. There we go. We'll leave Ahsoka for last.
And with ships, we've got the advantage. I think that's all we need. I unlocked Padme last night on this new account. First of those legendary characters that I'm working on. As soon as Geo Brood Alpha got starred up and played it a few times for the right RNG, we were able to take care of that one. Pretty low level too. All right, we'll see how my opponent does. Hopefully not as clean as that, and that might be an undefeated first week on this account. A couple extra Zetas and a bunch of slicing mats I have no use for. What we care about are the full clears and getting those credits. Thank you for watching. Um, I have put together a list video that I'm going to put out tomorrow morning. Uh, I've already recorded it. I just need to edit it. So it is definitely coming out. Uh, so look forward to that. Be safe out there, everyone, and be excellent to each other.